And we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we're facing gym number three, aka Burke. Now, I haven't exactly planned for the team just yet, but let's actually take a look at the, the first guy that we're about to face. Okay, so we have Harlequin Clarence with a Kumbi, Bernie, and a Pincer with Moxie. Okay. So, the best choice for the first one, I'd say, is to leave in with our Lyron, aka Bucket. Because he can resist bug, he can resist flying moves, and not rock throw, we're gonna teach him something better. Um, there's also Burmy with Electroweb. Burmy with Electroweb. I mean, the best answer might still be Bucket. And then against Pincer, though, we bait at least a Brick Break. So it might be better to swap to Fly Swatter. Something like that. Which items are we holding again? That's a Citrus, a Citrus, and a Citrus. Alright. Pretty easy then. Then, let's see... Oh, just realizing here. Alright, that's all we need. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So then, I guess we can just dive right in. Just give citrus berries to everybody that needs it. Unless you want to give bug... Mm, there's no point in giving bug bite to... Uh, bug bite. I was thinking about giving a berry to protect from fighting, but I, I don't think there's any point to that. Yeah, I think this is good. I think my Lombre is holding something else, though. No, it's a Citrus. For some reason, I thought it was something like Miracle Seed. Alright, let's get going, then. And we're looking for the gym, so that's all the way over there. Wrong place. <laughs> no point in beating Watson, we checked that last time, because he only offers berries, and berries we have them in droves. Okay, here we are. Yeah, we're ready, let's go. This is the first one. Harlequin Clarence? Yes. Nice. So he opens up with combi, and I just forgot to teach the the right rock move, didn't I? It's okay. I think it's only accuracy. It's only a matter of accuracy difference. So let's try rock throw here. Should still get the kill. So now he's gonna bring in pincer with moxie, and he's gonna try and brick break, right? Yeah. This is definitely that. So let's swap to the Fly Swatter. Who has... What? He has Aerial Ace. Okay. We can also hmm, take the time to set up a Reflect, I guess? Let's see how much damage we take when we swap to Fly Swatter. Bam. Okay, that's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, what he can do now is either bug bite. He wouldn't see bug bite. This is either double hit or quick attack. So I think I will set up a reflect to protect a little bit more from those moves. Whoa! That was. Okay, that was... I forgot. I, that was actually good thinking. I didn't think he'd go for that. And he keeps on doing it. Okay. I guess he just likes Brick Break. So this one probably sees Electroweb. <clears throat> okay, we don't have a safe switch into that. I guess the best way to handle it is just to swap to Microwave and hope for no crits. We have 
special defense 36 or 39 with heater fire dragon okay but i think i will get microwave in because electro web is not a stab move anyway maybe he even protects first nope straight for electro web okay it's only 12 so now we just fire punch this thing yep Clean, 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 clean. Nice. The second one has a Shelmet, Carrablast, Beautifly, and Dustox. So we gotta be careful. Let's just make sure that everybody's topped up. Nobody used any... Any healing stuff, so it's all good. Oh. And let's remember this time to check our TMs. So what do we have? We have... Uh, Pluck. Pluck could be... Oh, okay, Fly Swatter can't learn it. I forgot about that. Strength is normal, Cut is Grass type. So definitely Smackdown for the accuracy. Oh! He can't learn it. Well, that's surprising. All right then. Okay, so first up is Shelmet with Yawn, Struggle Bug, Mud Slap, and Pursuit with the Overcoat ability. And I have no idea what Overcoat actually does. Overcoat is meant to... Oh, okay. Overcoat is just to protect from weather damage. Ah, we're chilling. That's no issue. Alright, then I think... let's see... Hmm... I think we can just bring in a fire type, right? Lead in with a fire type to kill the Shelmet. Hmm... We do resist poison if we bring Heater up first. The only risk is that we'll be playing with Fire Fangs. I think I will do it. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. For this battle, I see struggle bugs, I see silver winds, I see sludge. There is no point in setting up reflects. So let's just dive right into it. Yeehaw! Harlequin Jack. He bears a Shelmet. Heater, you're up. Fire Fang this thing. Boom. It stabs super effective and still not enough. That is surprising. Okay, this thing is aiming for... Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Not with the accuracy decrease. He should still see Mud Slap anyway. So I think this is a swap to the fly swatter. Yep, he's gonna try and mud slap again. There it is. So I am going to just straight up aerial ace. It's not gonna do much. Shelmet does have good defenses. Oh wow, it actually killed, never mind. <laughs> Next up is Beautifly, because it has Air Cutter. And Mega Drain. So, the best shot here, because what's coming is Air Cutter, is to swap to Bucket. She went Stun Spore first. Okay. Hmm... I mean, she's not gonna go air. Beautifly is not gonna go air cutter or silver wind. Shouldn't go stun spore again. This should be mega drain. And if it's mega drain, I can then go fire punch with microwave. Might be the safer play. Let's bring microwave in. Yep, there's a mega drain. It was the right call. Fire Punch. 
Nice. Oh, that was a crit. Neat. Flies water is now level 26. Next up is Dust Tox. He's not gonna Silver Wind. This is Sludge. He can Poison Powder, he can use Confusion, but this should be Sludge here, so I'll just Fire Punch. And we get the kill. Nice. And for Carrablast, same thing. Fire Punch. Not sure if it kills though. It does. Alright, that's level 27. Thank you very much. Let's make sure everybody's healed up and full restores. Yep. Not forgetting that para. The next fight is Harlequin Gary. He has... Wow, that's a lot of mons actually. Let me just show you guys. Harlequin Gary. He has Paris, Yanma, Butterfree, Beedrill, and Motham. Okay. So the easiest way to kill Paris is to just leave him with a fire type, right? Which is going to lead to us seeing... Well, actually, it could be anything. The thing is that when Yanma comes up, we want to have a rock type on the field. Lyron's going to be the best way to kill... By the way, let's put this guy over here. Hmm. The effect spore can be annoying, so I think I'm going to equip Heater with um, with a Lumberry here. So let's just grab one. Lumberry. Alright. That's a little bit better, assuming that I leave with the Charmeleon, aka the Heater. So Heater goes in, gets a kill on the Paras, Effect Spore is not gonna trigger because of the Lumberry. Then we have Yanma, which is fine, he's gonna detect turn 1 for the speed boost. So if Yanma comes in, we should even swap to Bucket. Um, then it's Butterfree, Beedrill and Mothim. A lot of these get the... A lot of these die with a simple rock move. Okay. Then... I think it's the same thing. We just leave with our... With our fire type. Fire dragon. Let's go! Harlequin Gary going in with a Paris. And our only change is that this guy is holding a Lumberry. Nice. Gets the fire fang in. Effect sport triggers, doesn't even matter. Nice. Next up is Yanma. Motham. Okay. Why is why did he go that? This thing has gust, air cutter, psi beam, and lunge. Hmm. What was lunge again? It's a flying move, right? Yeah, no, it's a bug type move. Lunge is a bug type move. Lowers the target's attack stat. Okay, so he could be aiming for that. Okay. I mean, I don't really see much of an issue. Um, we just go Fire Fang here anyway. It's the safer play. Just go for it. It's faster than we are. Okay. That deals a lot of damage. But we get a plus one. Nice. Plenty to get the kill. Cool. And we need to swap out now. Because of course. <laughs> it's a safer play is now to run. Now this Yanma should not see a kill. Even if Air Cutter might get the kill, but this thing should detect to get the speed boost. If he does see a kill with Air Cutter, Bucket Hyper resists it. It's a quad resist, so... I will do that. The worst move this thing can do to our bucket, aka Lyron, is to Ominous Wind, and that's not even a... That's not even a stab move. 
Yep, he went to tact. That was perfect. Free switch. Alright. Hit him with the rock throw. He went to tact. Alright. He is a fast boy. Here's the ominous wind. Bam. It's a stab, hyper effective move. Nice. Next up is Beedrill, who has Twine Needle Assurance and Poison Sting, and I'm pretty sure we can resist a move from her, from Beedrill here. Assurance goes first. Yep, only deals 9 damage, and this should be hyper effective as well. Oh, it's not. Damn. Let's see. Oh, we can survive. Yep. Assurance again. Trigger my Citrus. <laughs> Rock throw with its 90 accuracy. We're actually getting a little bit lucky here. All right. 25. Butterfree. See Silverwind. Well, should see Confusion. I don't have a safe switch. It could even see Sleep Powder. Yep, it does. It sees Sleep Powder. Hmm. How much special defense do I have? 31. It's pretty poor, actually. 43, 71 on the Fly Swatter. Yeah, we'll swap to Fly Swatter here. Butterfree then sees Air Cutter. Hmm. Yep, this is Silver Wind. Do not get the boost. Rattled. Oh! We got extra speed here. Hello. Aerial Ace. It doesn't kill. Okay, didn't get the crit. This was a risk. Alright, there we go. And Gary is now defeated. And this should actually be it. Yep, that fight is not mandatory. And we made it to Berg. Alright, make sure everybody's healed up. Everybody needs to be level 27 too. We're getting a little bit more used to the early game, especially because now we get here we get here with um, without over leveling and having to uh, bring the levels back down all right 27 27 uses the move fling fling flings its hell item i'm not going to use that one bucket learn a better rock type move come on autotomize mm. I mean, uh, I guess it could be more useful. This thing is naturally high defense as it is. I think I'll take it actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll take it. Yeah, go for it. Still wish we had a better rock move. Teacup learns Rock Tomb? Oh heck yeah. Huh. I'll take that over Scary Face actually. It also decreases speed while dealing damage, so... Okay, and Sink. Drain Punch. You have a fighting move? No you don't. Okay, but you do learn Mud Shot. We kind of need... If we survive this gym, we kind of need Mud Shot. I'm not even sure I'm keeping... Um, I'm not even sure I'm keeping Drain Punch, to be honest. Um, I mean, I guess it can be useful, but... Then I'd be sacrificing Fake Out, I guess? But Fake Out can clear out stuff like um, 
focus sashes, you know? And there is a focus session. There is a focus session in this gym. I think I'll sacrifice Drain Punch. Yep, I'll let him go. Alright. Now the most important part. The actual gym leader. And we've got to plan this one real carefully. We have... Leader Berg. He opens up with a challenge that you do not see in challenge mode. An Eviolite... An Eviolite Sturdy. <laughs> Dwevel that wants to set up stealth rock and, s and spikes. Now before we actually do that, we should actually take a look at what other options we have in the... Um, in the PC. Because we do have... We do have a Pokemon that can steal that Eviolite, if you guys remember. Muna might be useful here. I'm thinking that we might need to leave with her, but we cannot one-shot this thing no matter what. I mean, that much is clear. Alright. So let's see... Let's see what we have. We're dealing with Pokemon that are mostly weak to fire, flying, and bug. Okay. So, if I were to take, let's say, one that we don't want to use. Okay, Lombra is one we definitely don't want to use. So let me bring everybody up here. We need to take a proper look. There is still the chance of getting an egg, but it will involve winning a bunch of fights. Which would mean leveling up the other guys, I guess. Okay. Against Dwebel, Scyther, Masquerain, Parasect, and Levani, if we would take the Lombra, it would be to bait certain moves. It could be necessary, but let's hold off on that. We have an Eevee, who hasn't evolved yet. And if I were to evolve it, it would be an Umbreon. He can covet to steal the item. But that's not gonna help us. No. That's not gonna help us because Dwebel in the meantime will just set up a bunch of spikes and stealth rock. We need to eliminate Dwebel's ability to attack, basically. We've got Grimer, who only has Haze. Hmm. We have Pain Split Trick Room Elgayam. This thing has Trick, which means it swaps out the items. Bug Psychic. Hmm. We might need to swap out the items to benefit from it. So Muna could be an option. I don't think I'll use Eevee. Maybe we could use Grimer for a, an easy swap, but it wouldn't have any advantage. It wouldn't even bait anything. Meditite... I don't think he would be useful. Being fight psychic, same thing with this guy. Chincho would not be the most useful thing here. We have a Voltorb with a rock move. But we'd have to be willing to sacrifice it if we're gonna bet on rollout. Seriously. <laughs> we have a massively strong Linun who can I guess just headbutt force everything. The Croconaw has Rock Tomb, but he is weak to things. Fire types are not even a question, they should definitely be on the team. Yeah, absolutely. Fire types must are a must. So... Uh, Let's see, we need to take Lyron for the resistances, and we need to take Ledian. Well, do we need to take Le Well, for the Aerial Ace, I guess. I guess it's for the Aerial Ace, because it's hyper-effective on Parasect and Levani, because they're Bug Grass. So it could work. Not to mention the Reflect setup. How does Rattled work again? Some move types scare it. Right, but can we find out which moves scare it? Uh, 
Um, maybe we can bait it into increasing speed? Rattled. When a Pokemon is hit by a bug, dark or ghost type. Okay. Okay, hmm. So this one definitely goes in. Then the question is, for Lombre... I mean, I guess it's okay if we don't. Masquerade has a Charty Berry equipped. What does that protect him from? Charty Berry. Okay, it reduces damage from a rock um, from a rock move. Okay, that is a little bit tough. Gotta think about that. Do we have any way to take care of the Dwebble? No. No. As a matter of fact, our best shot would be to yawn with um, Simiseer. That's literally our best shot. Either that, or a turn 1 Hypnosis from Muna would be the only option. Hmm. We can also risk it on Thunder Waves, but it's not guaranteed. It's not even guaranteed that we hit it. I'm thinking Muna might have to be part of this team, but more so than the more than the Eviolite, we need to get the Hypnosis going. The problem is it's a 60% chance and we have no way to improve on this, but it might be the safest play. Hmm. Is Muna weak to... Bug types, she is. So this might even... Mm. This might even bait X Scissor instead of any Stealth Rock or, or Spikes. Because it might see a kill. The safest play... Hmm. Simiseer baits Rock's life. That's the other thing. Baits a Rock's life. Do I have any items that can help me out on this? Whoops. I don't think I have any, but you know, it's worth a look. We have a Sooth Bell, we got a Quick Claw, Muscle Band, have a Silk Scarf, Prism Scale, Toxic Orb, and Hard Stone. Right. And what other items are available to me here? Let's see... I'm taking a look at the... at all the information I have, which is basically just a list of item locations. Apparently in the first city there's a TM energy ball, but it's probably not available to us immediately. As well as a choice scarf at some points. There's a brick break in Route 19, but you probably have to surf for it. What else we have? Miracle Seed we already got, right? Sticky Barb, Infestation we already got it, Quick Claw, EXP Share, Binding Band, we got all of that. There's a lagging tail, eh. TM36 sludge bomb in the Verbank city. In the city, not the complex, which is amazing. There's a wise glasses in the Verbank complex that we skipped. We missed the power up punch. Here in Castelia, we can get floatstone and the light ball. Floatstone? What's a floatstone? Reduces the weight. 
Дайде. От Automizer's Apply Before Other Weight Modifying Effects. Окей. Not much there. Light Ball, Thick Club. Apparently there's a TM10 Hidden Power here. As well as a Charcoal. Grass Knot, X Scissor. Hmm. Okay. Then before we plan, let's see if we can get some items. Um, I guess we need to talk to a bunch of people, actually. Hoping that we don't trigger any battles, that is. Alright. You already gave me pluck. And nothing here. Alright. I think that the only people that give us items are inside buildings, potentially. Okay. Twenty second floor. Who is here? Game freak. Okay, there's an item over here. It's an upgrade. Never mind that. Okay. Nope. Nope. We do not want to battle at all. And you. Alright. Nothing here. There's another building right here. Okay, this one's just about critical captures. Nothing here. Okay, you got nothing. TM44 West might be really good. Okay, now we know where to get that. We haven't gotten TM44 ever. Plus, this whole search might also give us... Might also give us some nice information on where the other stone is, because there's still a place where we can get a stone. Oh, wants to see a ghost type. Never mind you. I'm assuming that he's just gonna give me a berry of some sorts, and that's about it. Uh, let's leave this building for last. I'm pretty sure that building doesn't have anything for us. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. Alright, and... Berry juices. Huh, sure. <laughs> Alright, nothing here. Oh, there are actually a few people here. There shouldn't be anything in here. I'm fairly certain I've spoken to everybody. Okay, just a metal area. Okay, this is just about the metal rally. No point there. Is there any is there any Pokeball around here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Then to the third floor. This is where we got the Eevee, right? Yeah. So there's really nothing in here. Okay, this is just about the game sync and the intro link. Doesn't matter. Alright, this building has nothing for us. But this was not useless. We got the TM44. Anybody around here that can give me something? I guess not. We haven't spoken yet to... 
the people that are here. Liberty Garden, right. Off to the Liberty Garden. We can't get Victini here, that's only available in challenge mode. No items. This guy can give me nothing. Same thing here. Okay, there's absolutely nothing. So let's just leave. Worth a shot. Okay, now that you know... I think that's all that's left is to talk to these guys, actually. Oh. Oh yeah, it's, this one is all about new phrases. Ah! Gave me a Pokeball. Eh. I mean, it's okay, but we need Great Balls first. Alright, taking care of this. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, just press A on all of them. Thank you. So nothing here. All that's left to check is the battle company. I'm pretty sure we don't want to talk to anybody here, actually. <laughs> Never mind that. Alright. Let's start actually planning. So, to handle the Dwebble, I think it's gonna have to be Yawn. Definitely, I think we just Yawn first. That means he's probably gonna get one Stealth Rock and one Spikes in. We're probably gonna need some Mons with the rest in the chest though, maybe. This is gonna be tough, because we can't fully prevent it. It would be easier if we had the um, semi poor with Taunt. Okay. We're not gonna be able to take away the item. I don't think so. Um... I mean, it's easy to use Covet. Hmm. Should I take Eevee for this? Might be risky. Dwebble with an Eviolite. We gotta take that Eviolite away. The thing is that... Hmm... We yawn? Then I guess I can swap immediately, tank a hit with Eevee. Yeah, I guess that's okay. So we get the yawn, next turn we swap to Eevee and take a hit. We're gonna be level 27 for that anyway. And it should have... I mean, for an Eevee, it's decent. Has decent defense. Plus, the Eevee Alight will actually work in our favor there. Steals the target's hull item. Yeah, we're probably gonna have it equipped. Then, as he is asleep with no Eevee Alight... This should be a swap back. If we get a fire type in, this is gonna bait the Masquerain. The Masquerain is gonna come up for the Bubble Beam, right? So let's see. Get Simiseer in, Yawn, swap to Eevee, steal the item, swap to Charmeleon. Hmm, swap to Charmeleon. Then I guess it's Fire Fangs. Masquerade would come in. Would use Intimidate. 
And after that Intimidate we get an actual boost and we have plus one attack. Thing is that one Fire Fang is not gonna kill the Masquerade and the Masquerade might actually kill us. But I will confirm this one. Let's see, um, Calc. We have a Masquerain versus a Charmeleon, level 27. And this thing is not going to have Scald, it's going to have Bubble Beam. Level 27. Yeah. This is Fire Dragon, by the way. It's actually wrong. Yep, because Dragon kind of resists the hit. But one crit... One crit and we're done. And I'm pretty sure that a Fire Fang plus one will not be enough. No, it's 48% no shot. So that's not going to be the answer. When he swoops in to use Bubble Beam, we actually need to, to use... Something like Croconaw or Lombre. Right. If we bring in Lombre, that's gonna bait Signal Beam. Yeah, that's gonna bait Signal Beam. And if we bring out just a simple Croconaw, that's gonna bait a Giga Drain. Thing is... I need to be able to handle this one practically on my own, really. If we swap to Crokinaw and give him a berry to resist to resist a grass type move. Maybe we can rock tomb this thing to decrease its speed. And that'll put me in a safer spot. That'll put me in a much safer spot. Because then I can swap to a fire type to resist the Giga Drain and will probably be faster. So then we'll still have a fire type. And by then... Scyther, Parasect and Levani are left. Depending on who they bring... We might do different swaps, for example, if it's Scyther for wing attack, this is definitely Lyron going in. There would also be the option... I'm forgetting there's also the option of having Ledian... Having Ledian to tank a signal beam. Because I could get Lombre in the field, which baits a signal beam. And then bring out Ledian, which is going to boost its speed. Yeah, Masquerade is way too scary though. Lowering its speed is for the best. I think it's still the best strat. Hmm. Now the issue with Parasect is its Focus Sash counter. And then there's Levani. Hmm. I'm thinking that if I... Hmm. I don't, can't really use Rock Tomb, so... Hmm. What if I... Okay, so... Yon Swap to Eevee to steal Dwebble's Eviolite, right? He falls asleep. We swap back to Charmeleon, get the kill with Fire Fangs, right? Masquerade comes in, trying to do Bubble Beam. We swap to Croconaw. With, uh, we swap to Croconaw, who's holding a berry to resist a grass type move, and we Rock Tomb it. Then we swap back to a Fire type so that we can outspeed. Because I think that a Charmeleon is going to outspeed a minus one. 
Yes. We outspeed the minus one, hopefully. This is always assuming perfect IVs, right? <clears throat> so this is just to get the rock tomb in. Get the Charmeleon in. Well, actually, we can't really kill it with a fire type. Best shot would be to use Simiseer for the Yawn to give us a better chance. And then Simiseer would have to be holding something to protect him from a water move. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, this is gonna be difficult, but let's see. Assuming that we beat the Masquerade, and this time we're gonna have something like... Okay, the way to beat Parasect is gonna have to be with special type moves. So we could bring this guy out, because by the, f by the time we're facing Scyther, Parasect and Leivani, we see a lot of bug type moves and grass type moves. So let's assume that this is the team. Let me just get Eevee to level 27. Uh, 27? There we go. Swift. Swift never misses, and it's a stab move. Hmm. But I don't think I'll take it, actually. Because it's only a stab move until I evolve it. Okay. So, here's what I think the plan is going to be. It's not perfect, but it'll have to do. I think this is Microwave Soups in to do Yawn, Swap to Mira, Swap to Mira, uh, Tank a hit. We're gonna have to tank one. Oh. Uh, I will revert this, guys. Oh, that was accidental. I thought I was in the Pokemon section, not the freaking rare candy one. I will revert this, no worries. Mira comes in, uses Covet, swap back to a fire type, and it's safer to use this guy and just two fire punches in. Right. Two fire punches, gets the kill. This is gonna bait Masquerade. So, this is gonna be Dwevel down. This is gonna bait Masquerade, who's gonna see a fire type and is gonna go, gonna go Bubble Beam, basically. So we swap to Teacup, who's holding a Grass type Berry, so that we can pull off one Rock Tomb. One Rock Tomb is all we need. Then we have to swap out to a Fire type, who's gonna have to be holding a Water, water Berry. Yep. This one is going to be holding a water berry. Because we need to swap out tank a Giga Drain. Well, yeah, we got to tank a Giga Drain and a Bubble Beam while we do Yawn. Then he's going to try another Bubble Beam. And at that point, it's either Teacup or another Water type. I might take Lombre just for this. Okay, that's going to be just to tank it and put it to sleep. Maybe we can swap to Teacup, if not, we find something else. Ideally, this would be a swap back to Bucket, so that it could kill with rock moves. Parasect has the Focus Sash and the Counter. Scyther would die to one hit from a Rock-type move, hopefully. And Parasect and Levani die from Fire. Okay, so, let me just very quickly save, because, you know, mistakes were made. <laughs> and I need to revert this thing back to level 28, to level 27, I mean. Okay. Since I have no plan to actually use the um, Levian, at least, mm, not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it. I might bring out the um, Lombre. I don't know, maybe. 
All right. So we want, uh, yeah, our Eevee was a mistake. Level 27. Come on. There we go. So, all of this to get the Masquerain. Assuming that Bucket is in the field, if Scyther comes in, he, he'll he just die. We'll just kill it. If it's Parasect... If it's Parasect, I think this would be a swap to Flyswatter. So I could set up a Reflect. And I might need to equip Flyswatter with a Lumberry. Because that thing has Spore, which is very, very annoying. So let's actually get some berries going. We need Lumberry. Here. We need... Something to help us with, with uh, water. That's going to be a Pasho Berry. Weakens a super effective water move. And that's going to have to be on microwave. And I think just in case, if we lose one of them, we might need both. Because I'm thinking if Dwebel just jukes us and opens up with a rock slide crit, we lose a fire type. That's a risk we're taking here. The other thing was... What was it again that we need the protection for? Giga Drain, right? Yeah, grass. We need a protection for a grass type super effective move. And that's on teacup. We need to take an Eevee with no held items. Yeah. And Bucket should be holding a Citrus Berry for longevity. I would love if he had the uh, Eevee Light though. <laughs> okay, so we'll take the Citrus. Alright, I think this is going to be the strat. Not perfect. There's a lot of risk. Anything can happen. I mean, all it takes is you getting crit once and your whole plan goes out the window, right? But I think it's a decent plan we have. Let's go. Okay, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, even with regards to abilities or held items. I think we've taken everything we could into account. Alright. So, opening up with the Yawn guy, right? Correct. Good. Here we go! Third gym. So, immediately yawn. Good. He went stealth rock, okay. We're taking a few hits now. Swap to Eevee here. Because this is probably spikes. Could be a rock slide. It's spikes, okay. Good, he's asleep. Covet. He is faster, wow. Good, so that takes care of that. Then I will bring out Heater for this one, I think it's safer. Because I'm still gonna need to yawn the Masquerade, yeah. So, Heater, you're up. Alright, Firefang this thing. 
No miss. Okay, um, hmm, that was unlucky. I guess this is breaking swipe to decrease the attack. I thought it would be super effective. Guess I was wrong. Can we survive that? Barely. Okay. Firefang again, do not miss. Nice. He flinched. Excellent. Okay. Quick attack. He heals. I forgot! Okay. Um. <laughs> Dwebble is weak to steel, water, and rock. Okay, this is definitely rock slide incoming. I have to swap the bucket here. We're already off script. Okay. So, rock throw here. Yeah, this is what we should have done. He has three spikes now. Might have lost. Parasect. Let's see. Parasect has counter, has X scissor, has uh, has seed bomb. Okay. So I guess this is swapping immediately to fly swatter, right? Spores me. Okay, it's fine. Set up a reflect here. He spored again. Alright. Did what I what could. He's at three. Can't do anything. I may need to sack here. Yeah, I may need to sack someone immediately. Is this sacking the heater? I mean, it's the safest play, right? We can't exactly use it, so... Horrible mistake not understanding Dwebble's weakness. That is on me. Okay. Fails that. Now, what comes in? We'll take massive damage. We've already made tremendous mistakes. Once I got it to Yon, I should have swapped to Lyron. Frick. I mean, I don't really have a choice now have to take this guy in. I actually forgot that. Okay, I'm completely throwing this. Uh, yeah, I'm completely throwing this, guys. Sorry. Made mistakes. This thing has dry skin. What am I doing? Uh... <laughs> Yep. So stupid. So stupid. Cannot believe that. Such stupid mistakes. That's what I get. Not unlucky, just my fault, really. Alright, we reset. Okay, this is run number nine. Such a stupid way to lose. What a stupid way to lose, man. Forgot about Dwebble's weaknesses. Was the cap here 14? I think it was 14. It's okay. Alright. So the 
is definitely Oshawott again. Let's go after hmm, game archetypes. I'm gonna call this one God of War. So mad, so mad about myself. Uh, so mad at myself, really. So many amateurish mistakes there. I think we had it if I had just, if I had just played a little bit more carefully. If I had swapped to Lyron at the beginning. Everything would have been different. I think I had the necessary Pokemon to win. As long as we learn, guys. As long as we learn and we don't make the same mistakes again. That's what matters. Okay, God of War he here just tackles. That's the thing about normal mode. The thing about normal mode is exactly this, is that you don't see this challenge in challenge mode. You don't see the Stealth Rock Spikes challenge. I think the normal mode has some interesting stuff too. Alright, this one's taken care of. I need to find a way to put that Dwebel to sleep. Maybe betting on Muna would have been better, but he could still wake up early. There was still a lot of risks. Oh yeah, I should update the... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Well, so now the, the early game is the same thing, right? Catch the catch the first six mons, and that's how we face the first gym. I think the key is that we're gonna have to pick instead of Charmeleon. He, I don't think we've, he has been very useful overall. I think we're gonna go War Turtle because War Turtle, at least in early gens, could learn Rapid Spin, which can clean the field. Of, of Stealth Rock. It's, War Turtle might be the play. We got a normal type, Patrat. Okay, it is what it is, I guess. Okay, uh, this is fine. We can just go ahead and capture this thing. Good. This thing can be... This thing can be... Uh... Uh, Assassin's Creed. Yep. I'll just name him Assassin after Assassin's Creed. We should already have the necessary items, right? Yeah, we already have the berries and everything. Okay. So I'll just full restore here. And I will raise these guys up to level... By the way, what was the level cap again? I don't think it was 14. 13. Right, 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 right. 13's the cap, my bad. Okay, so raise these guys up to level 9. That'll really help me out. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. I got some stuff on the OBS. <laughs> Sand attack. Eh, better than Foresight, I guess. Pursuit is fine, too. Yep. Overbite. And I think we can equip them with Oran Berries in case of crits. Let's check Nature's and whatnot. We have shell armor with a speed boosting nature. Less defense is a shame, but shell armor I guess will help us out. More special attack, less attack is actually... It's probably pretty bad. In... Uh, yeah, modest nature is probably pretty bad on, on assassin here. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, I think I will actually bother and try and check for every single item. Oh, Krikatot is a mon here? Curious. We should actually check every single house. Yeah, Brick Break is probably on the other side. <laughs> Let's talk to everyone, because if we're missing items like the TM44 rest... We might be losing something. Actually, rest and lumberries might actually be the key. If you don't have a way to handle that Dwebble. But if War Turtle learns Rapid Spin, he might be practically mandatory to face um, to face the third gym. Let's try that this time instead of picking Charmeleon. Bulbasaur could also be viable if he learns Sleep Powder. Oh, he only gives me a potion though. Alright. Who else is in here? Okay, nothing here. This guy gives me absolutely nothing. Okay, here we get the Panseer, who will learn Yon. And he can be Tsushima, after the Ghost of Tsushima. Alder here. Hmm? New encounter, which means first fight. Let's go. Alright, so this is immediate water gun. Our lack of defense is probably gonna screw us more often than not. Like so. Seven damage right there. Nice. And nice again. Cool. I'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible without making many mistakes. Rare candies. Let's go. Ghost of Tsushima. Wants to learn the movie on, which is very, very important. And we should take a look at his natures and give him a berry. He has special attack boosting nature. Gluttony encourages the early use of a held berry. Okay, so this time it doesn't have blaze. This is probably its hidden ability. Special attack is good. It'll encourage us to keep incinerate this time instead of fire punch. But the decrease in speed is pretty bad, actually. These first few fights don't really matter. Because they only start up with uh, Pokemon we have no advantage against. It's sand attacking me. Okay, never mind that. Wants to learn the move Aqua Jet. I'll take that over... Tackle. Okay, he went Sunkern here, which means Tsushima... Leech seeds us. That's fine. We're gonna incinerate. And after this PG, we... Um, I guess we can stay in? Yeah. Get the incinerate, which is... Hmm. I should swap out just to get rid of the leech. Go assassin here. Send attack doesn't work on me. And I'm just gonna tackle. Pretty good. Alright. Next up, get everybody back to full health. Uh, I'm still very mad at myself for that. For that stupid loss. Well, now I'll never forget Dwebble's weaknesses, and I should have double checked them. Okay, so we got Lotad here. Go Aqua Jet. Pretty good. He's even growling, so we can do another one safely. Okay.
Okay, do another one. Okay, counter is annoying. Let's see. This should be enough, actually. Bam, we got the low tab. Alright, that's all we needed. This one can be Automata, after near Automata. Hmm, I just realized that the Pokemon have not updated, <laughs> which is fine. Let's get some rare candies on this one. Wants to learn Water Pulse better than Water Gun. Excellent. Some heals going. And a berry. Okay. Let's actually check what this one has, though we should still be fine. This is Route 20. Youngster Petey opens up with a Spearow, Lillipup, Hootoot. Okay, we have no way to deal fighting... The we have no fighting moves anyway. Go for it. Alright. Aqua Jet in the rain, baby. Hell yeah. Good. Grew to level 11. Gotta be careful there. We can't actually use him, because he's going to level up to level 12 in one of the... Um, in the trainer school fight. And then it's going to be 13 during the gym. So I can't really use him here. Let's get uh, Tsushima up first, so that we can use Yon. We got the Talo. Hmm, again not a fighter, huh? Alright. Hmm. And I think I'm just gonna tickle. Good. Ooh, that was close. Three shakes? Come on. Alright, I need to deal damage to you. Um, hmm. Let's go with Assassin here. He's only spamming after you. Huh. Regular tackle. That's some good ass damage. Thank god you didn't crit. Good. Tail was cut. Excellent. Then you're gonna be Hades. Any chance this is Guts, Talo? Let's actually take a look at what we got here. Um, Automata. He has a special attack boosting nature. He has a quiet nature. Okay, not bad. This one, less special attack, more special defense is okay. It's scrappy. It enables moves to hit ghost types. Alright. Eh, not the best. Not the best. It is what we got. So, give him an Oran Berry. <coughs> Guess we don't really need the Max Elixir, but you know, why not? Rare candies. Boost these guys up to 10 here. Yep. Nature power is perfectly fine. And I think... Would I take that over the counter, though? I mean, yeah, I would. Wants to learn Fire Spin, which is a special type move, but... Traps them in a vortex. No, I wouldn't take this. And Hades wants to learn Swift. I mean, I guess it's better than the After You. Finally, full restore. Right. 
the rival battle here let's see where is it Hugh, if you picked Oshawott, opens up with a Talo, then it's a Snivy, then a Pampoor. Okay. Sounds good to me. And the level cap here is technically... Is technically 10. So I guess I open up with God of War to take care of the Talo. It's raining, so our fire moves are not gonna do much. Okay, this is boosted Aqua Jet, nearly gets the kill, awesome. An easy kill on the tail of there. Then comes out the Snivy for Vine Whips. Okay, this is at least one Incinerate so that we can get the, um, the Berry, the end of the, the Berry kill. Alright. And then it's going to be a swap to Hades so that we can pack it. Okay. Nice. And now the Pampoor. He is can only attack us with Water Gun. We have no response against this thing. So I guess this is a swap to Assassin and get some Leers in at least. No, it's a swap to God of War. Right. Hmm. It's safer. Yep. It's safer. Let's get God of War in. He actually went for Lick there. Huh. Water guns me. Fury cutter. Keep using fury cutter. Yep, that's a massive damage. Done. Awesome. Alright, taking care of this guy. Let's get our sixth mon. We actually did this pretty fast, actually. Not bad. Huh. Thank you for the sooth bell. Alright, give me the egg. Thank you very much. I swear to god, if it's a third Muna. Give me something useful. I'd say the two least useful mons so far have actually been Charmillion and, and Muna. Even though Charmillion has that breaking swipe, we haven't really capitalized on it. Okay, we got a Magby. That's actually pretty good. Alright, I am gonna name you uh, Horizon. After Horizon Zero Dawn. And let's boost you guys to level 10. All right, he comes out at level level one. Let's see if you learn something good. Clear smog, poison type. All status changes return to normal. Well, better than smog. More of an attack than special attack, then. Eh. Fire spin over ember. No, I would not take that. Faint attack. Dark type never misses. Heck yeah. Okay, let's heal everybody up. And some berries. There they are. This rain is extremely annoying if I need fire types. Like, extremely annoying. Need to get rid of that. Whew, almost fought that one. Puchiana. So that's a quick claw. 
Yeah, Riolu, I wanted one of these. Actually. Let's see, I need that Max Repel. Yeah, I need this thing running. Okay, EXP share. Thank you. Now, this guy is gonna open up with a Bidoof, Hondor, and Slack Off. Alright. Bidoof with rollout, actually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna up with Assassin here. I don't know, maybe it'll be good. We only have two fights here anyway. I'm assuming that this guy is pure normal, right? It is. It is pure normal. So this is Tackle. He goes Defense Curl. That's not annoying at all. <laughs> Covet. Oh my god. That was actually very smart. But we got the crit. Honder. Immediately intimidates. Mm, yeah, best way here is to go God of War. He howls, doesn't even matter. One aqua jet and he's done. Good. And then for the slack off. We have no fighting moves at all. Um, I think I'll make use of the water and just water pulse here. Because he can... Slack off should only amnesia, mud slap. Scratch. Okay. Rain dish is going to help us out. Pretty good. Good. Okay, we need an orange berry to, to replace the one we just lost. And well, full restores. Next up is youngster Kenny opening up with a Psyduck, Puchiana, and Ponita. Well, Against the Psyduck, I'm still gonna leave in with the Assassin. Yeah, because we have no reliable way to... We don't have Grass-type moves yet. Hmm. Okay, so Assassin here just uses Tackle. That's a boosted Water Gun. He went Disable. Okay, um, hmm. Since this thing might water gun again, do I want to go Automata here? I'll still stay in. Right, it's disabled. Pursuit. He kills me with a boosted water gun here. If he crits, that is. Swap to Automata. There's a risk because Psyduck does have clear smog. I'm trying to bet that I'm faster. We're not. Okay, still, we got the Seed Bomb going. In a way, we do have a Grass-type move, right? Honder, or uh, not Honder, Puchiena. This is probably Bite, actually. Howl, okay. We can go with a Stab Seed Bomb. We flinched. Okay, gotta leave. Uh, God of War. We gotta prevent those crits. And we Aqua Jet next turn. Good. And against Ponita, same thing. Just Aqua Jet. Stores on everybody, and we used up a berry. We will need to refrain from using our water type in the school battle. Binding band, 
Okay. Yarp. <laughs> we got the TM41 infestation. And that's the only thing we got. Good. This guy's gonna give me frustration. And now we can face the school. Uh, no need here. We've also spoken to everybody in these towns and we haven't found anything, so I don't think we're missing any items. At least I don't feel like it. Alright, what we're about to face. First off is fire types at level 11. So let's get everybody up to level 11. The ones that are not. Headbutt! Okay, now we're talking. Might even get some flinches. And Hades. Alright. So I'm gonna have Assassin in as much as possible. Let's go! First up is Pampor. Well, not actually, no, 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 no. It's. Yeah, Tickle, Lick, Yawn, and Incinerate, Pan, Seer. That's what it is. Okay, that was decent. But if he crits, we're kind of screwed here. So swap to Fire type to take on the Incinerate. He went Yawn. Okay. I think I'm going Yon too. Yep, he went incinerate, which is fine. Okay, we fall asleep. We stay in, just to use up one of these turns. Okay. And now it's safer to get Hades. Uh, actually, Automata in. Who can use Water Pulse. And get the kill. Good. Next up is T-Pig. He has Ember and Smog. Smog is a 30, if I'm not mistaken. 30 base power, it's not stab. So... And he goes defense curl, so he might even kill. No. He goes defense curl twice. Okay, even better. Level 12. Wants to learn Bullet Seed. Okay, that's a game changer. I will lose Growl here. And I might not even take Fake Out. Torchic does have... He doesn't have Peck. So the most damage he can do is with Ember. Send attacks. Eh, yeah, I'll take it. Growls, that does nothing to me. Embers does 9. Okay, so we survive a crit. So we can try again. Good. That's the end of that chapter. Number 2. Cassie. Opening up with the Pants Age. The Pants Age has... Magical Leaf. He cannot lick the normal type. So I guess this is just... We can headbutt, but that's a lot of damage. So I will put Tsushima in. Yep, thank the Magical Leaf. And we're just going to incinerate here. He's faster than me. Okay, this Snivy has Pursuit. This... This nature that decreases our speed is biting us more than once. Okay, got to level 12. Wants to learn Disarming Voice. Fairy-type move. 
We have yet to actually use it, but... Eh, I mean, we have yet to use Lick, too. So. Trico has Pound, Leer, Quick Attack, and Absorb. So I think this is a swap to Hades. Pound, okay. Packed this half. He went for Leer. Alright. Good. Alright, time for the first gym. I wonder if in Castelia, if I get 10 medals, do I get the stone that I keep looking for? Maybe I should talk to that guy next time. What the heck? I didn't even know this was a thing. I mean, I never bothered coming here. Wonder if I can wake him up. Let's actually heal. Can I actually try and catch that? I can't believe I never bothered to come up here. Uh, you're up first, because I do need the... Um, the yawn. If he does react to me, we don't even know. Okay, Oren berries on everybody who needs them. There we go. So it's actually seven Pokémon. Oh, it's doing nothing. Hmm. This guy's in Zen mode, I guess. Okay. I would need a Rage candy bar for this. Is a Rage candy bar available to me and I just didn't get it? Hmm, let's actually take a look. Item changes... Let's see what I can get. Uh, 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 uh. No. No such thing. Unfortunately. Rage. There is absolutely nothing. That's not an item we can get. It's not obtainable in game. Until the end, I guess. What a shame. Getting this thing, because it's fighting type, would be ideal. If I talk to you guys, do you tell me anything about this? No, I don't think so. Damn, now I really wanted to catch that thing. Not to mention something is over there. At times only your own Pokémon can help you out. What a shame. I'm actually kinda sad. Has the weather... Wait, if the weather has gotten better... If the weather has gotten better, maybe we can have... No, it rains here. Okay, no option there. Sag. Sag. I want that thing. Okay, so that's the end of this chapter. Now let's talk in the trainer's school. Wait, I forgot to talk to this guy, didn't I? Eh, ah, never mind. <laughs> he just stares at a wall. Okay, I haven't spoken to anybody in here in this town. Let's see, you got something for me? No. I'll give you something I always used to take with me back then. 
you have it somewhere in the bookshelf or something? Well, never mind then. Nothing in this house. Then let's... Can't do anything in here. Gym leader Charon. Nothing there. The old man? No. Let's check here. What do you have? Like a black belt or something? No. Nothing here. Nothing here. His PC? Nope. Alright, this is Dreano's room. And house overall. Okay. Okay, you got something for me? No. Okay, all that's left is checking this place. Nothing here. Nothing there. Iron ball. Okay, this is new. Trigger this. Oh yeah, and I forgot, guys. We shouldn't have badges anymore. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Okay. What the heck did I just get? An iron ball, what does it do? Flying type and levitating holders are susceptible to ground moves. Cut speed. Okay, this makes sense with Muna with the trick ability. I see. The muscle band here, I think I'll give it to Assassin. Yeah, I think it makes more sense here. Everybody else has an orange berry, which is perfectly fine. Let's just get everybody up to 12, I guess? We have 11s. Yeah, we have 11s. Wing attack. Okay, that's perfect timing, actually. Better than pack. Muck punch. Okay. Now you're talking. Nice one. Very, very nice one, Magby. Okay. So, who are we dealing with? Let's just take all of this back. Uh, 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 uh. Train the school. We're not facing Roxanne here. Sharon's gym. Youngster pet. Right. This is the hustle guy. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to do a little some something. Because I'm pretty sure that Magby... Does Magby evolve through friendship in this, in this version? Because if he does... Hmm... Magby evolves at level 29. Okay, it's not friendship anymore. Otherwise, I would make the change. Okay. Then it doesn't matter. We're facing the hustle guy, which is annoying. Because he can get lucky. And he can wipe us. Magby is still a baby mon. That's my biggest fear here. 16 defense. It's not the worst defense in the team, actually. It's third best. And it has a lot of speed, even though it debilitates speed, his nature at least. What? How's his attack like? 25. He actually has great stats, it's the best attack in the team. Alright, you're leading up. Let's go. Just don't crit me. That's all I ask for. More than half, any focus energies. Perfect. That's an easy one. Wismer. He can't use disarming voice, so this is definitely uproar. Does half. Perfect. 
he decreases my special defense. Doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Centret, he's an attacker, so even my special defense decrease does not matter here. Perfect. Fantastic. An easy first win. Next up, Las Serena. She opens up with a Pidove with Air Cutter. Which means we have to put God of War up. Oh, a wow, 1 EXP to level 13. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is Aqua Jet. By the way, is he more of an attacker or a special attacker? Special attacker. Okay. Yeah, we gotta leave with God of War here. To take care of this guy. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking, how are we gonna handle the Teddy Ursa? We don't have any status effects on anybody. I mean, I guess it's gonna have to be Mach Punch. It's gonna be the safest play. But I would really rather not sack anybody. Hmm. I guess I might go for... Hmm. Yawn. I guess it's a swap to this guy so I can yawn. We're not faster though, because of the... Um, <laughs> because of our debilitating nature, which is very unlucky. Hmm, alright. Then I guess this is leading up with this guy. Go! Beedov! So... He's gonna attack me anyway, so water gun first? Okay, again. Pretty good. Nice Oren. And Aqua Jet. Alright. Wants to learn Razor Shell. I think I'll take that over Water Gun. Despite my nature. Yeah, I'll take that. Teddy Ursa. Hmm. Now we need to think. Um, against Teddy Ursa, we best play would be to yawn, really. Yeah. Headbutt does a lot though. Okay, good. Now we need to run. Let's see, who has higher defense? This is 19 defense, 16 on the Magby. 17, 4, okay, 17 on the Automata. Wait, no, 14 actually. It's 17 on the Assassin. Right. So let's get Assassin in to tank a headbutt. Okay, good. Swap Horizon in. This is Mach Punch immediately. Doesn't even do half, and he woke up. Oh my god. Okay, just don't crit me. He didn't. Nice. Okay, we're in there. Eevee can quick attack, swift or tackle. <laughs> so I guess we have to go God of War here to stave off the, the crits. Okay. Raise a shell. Pretty good. And Aqua Jet. Not enough, but he went tickle. Alright. Alright. 
good. Get some quick heals and PP and all that. Just to make sure we're not forgetting anything, I'm actually gonna go to the center. Whoops. Did any of you guys give me anything? No. It'd be nice if someone in the centers... Okay. Let's try and get the medals, because we might get... 10 medals might get us something in Castelia. There's a guy who has 10. We have nothing on the PC, right? No, we have nothing. Okay. For some reason, why did I think that I... We can only get six months by the, by the time we get to the first gym. Okay. And now for Charon. Everybody needs to be level 13 for this one. Low kick. Excellent. And perfect timing too. Over the sand attack. Hades and Tsushima. Alright. Get the Oran Berries going. But I'm pretty sure we shouldn't have just Oran Berries. I think there's some sort of status effect here. But that's something we can check now. Hmm. So, Leader Cheron. He's a workup maniac. <clears throat> Mincino, Pidov, Lillipup, and Munchlax. Hmm. Lillipup has vital spirit, so he cannot fall asleep. Not like we can put anybody asleep anyway. Cell battery. What does cell battery do? Cell battery boosts attack if you're hit with an electric type. Alright. That's not really relevant for this. So basically, against Pidov, you have to take God of War, right? Has to be. This might be leading up with Horizon to land the Mach Punch. Hmm. I don't know if Mincino uses a tract or anything. Tsushima needs to do an incinerate and a tickle. Needs to open up with tickles to decrease Lillipop's defense and keep his attack in check. Same thing with the Munchlax, but I don't think I have two tickle users this time around. We do not. So we need to think about using our assassin with muscle band. Hmm, his stats were, okay, 19, plus equipped with, um, yeah, plus equipped with that. I mean, it's not Mach Punch. Are we fast enough at 19 speed? I guess it's worth a check. Um, against the Mincino at level 11 versus a Patrat. Level 13. Holding the um, muscle band, right? Holding the muscle band. With low kick. This actually doesn't even do enough. Really? Low kick is, does only... What? Headbutt actually does more. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea of this one. Seems like it only does about a third, so low kick's not the option, but headbutt kills him in two shots. So this has to be headbutt. Okay. So we can lead in holding a muscle band, two headbutts, 
maybe even a flinch. But the other question is, are we even faster? Um, no. Actually, no, we're not. We are not only, are we not faster? Mincino can then use echoed voice on us, right? Echoed voice at a plus one, which does about a third, so it should still be safe. My nature is modest, though. Haven't taken that into account. Okay, so it's a 44.4% chance to 58.3. So it's about a 50% chance that we can two-hit KO this. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's it. Yep. Level 11, level 13. Yep. Okay. So I guess we still lead in with this guy. It's gonna be Assassin first. And we're aiming for two headbutts. We don't even need a high roll, we need a little bit of a roll. Then after Pidov is God of War, because Pidov has super luck for the crits. Then against the Lillipop, it's gonna be Tsushima with the Yawn Tickles. And I guess we can swap to this guy, maybe? Something like that. We can also swap to Hades. We can also swap to Horizon for the Mac Punches, which is also quite nice. Okay, we'll figure it out during the... during the actual gym fight. Let's go! Whoa, okay, things got a little bit heavy there. <laughs> Charon, you're up! So this is headbutt with muscle band. My modest nature works against me. But we get half. Echoed voice does about a third and we get the kill. Excellent. He brings in Lillipop straight up. So this is... Yon. He does work up. Okay. Works up again. Alright. I made the same mistake. Why do I keep thinking that Yon... <sighs> Tickle him. Keep him. Keep his attack only at double. Okay. He's minus two defense. Okay, boys. Who do we sack for this mistake? I have to risk that he will work up again. Can a Magby with Mag Punch? Can't believe it. I keep making the same freaking mistake. Magby with Mag Punch versus a Lillipop from Leader Charon at minus two defense. Almost. Not quite. We need one more. He still works up. Okay. At minus three, do we guarantee it? The Magby is holding a muscle... No, he's not. He's not holding a muscle band. No. Um... Mach punch at minus three defense. 89 to 110. It's still not enough. Okay, he works up. This is double attack. Okay. That's minus four. Now we guarantee it. Please tell me he does another one. He went tackle. Okay. Whew. Mock punch this thing. Bam. Nice. Again with the stupid mistakes. 
God of War. He works up. Okay, that's scary. Razor shell here. We got a crit. Heck yeah. Now, this one. Now I can swap. And I can finally use Yon and start working with Tickles. He has full health, I'm not even worried about Flail. He's at... He's at plus two. Plus two minus one. Plus one minus two. Zero minus three. Okay, that's zero minus three. Right? Yep. Zero min... This is zero minus four. Zero minus five. Oh, we're tied in speed. Good. And he's now minus one, minus six. Thirteen damage, and that was a crit. So now, since he's minus six defense, I'll bring in God of War just for safety. Raise a shell. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm assuming that a minus six defense Munchlax dies, right? against my um, Oshawott at level 13 Razor Shell and minus 6 defense guaranteed yep it's guaranteed also what about Aqua Jet? no Aqua Jet is 77 to 94 alright excuse me? What mistake did I make in my calculations just now? Okay, let's just win the battle so that I can check why this is wrong. This doesn't make any sense. I'm not even going to continue. I'm resetting the run if I lost my starter here. It's not even a point. Not even a point. Why was that a mistake? Was it the nature? Level 13. It's because we're 20 attack, we probably have really poor IVs. This is like 6 IVs. Well, 6... Well, between 6 and 9, I guess? Something like that? It's really poor IVs. Okay. No, I'm not taking that... Not taking that one, guys. Run 10. I'm not accepting losing it, losing the starter. Makes no sense. Oh, these calculations. Freaking hell. Should have played more safely, I guess. I should have... Um, should have put him to sleep. I have it. I should have put him to sleep. That would be the safer play. Okay. I'm gonna go exactly with the same nicknames. God of War. Right. Let's try this again. It's a shame because Mag B with the Mac Punch was making things really interesting. All right, let's get this guy going. Good. This this battle is literally just a spam A thingy.
All right, we need. We just need one more tackle. Good. So that's the end of that chapter. Okay. Good, and now we already know that nobody here gives us anything in this town, so we're fine. Someone somewhere gives us an iron ball, which decreases speed. All of a sudden, Trick Muna became a lot more useful, if we ever get it. Alright, have a 4 out 19, let's go. Win some, lose some. Yeah, 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 Jirachi is here. Oh my god, the first one's a centret. I think it's good enough to capture. One, two, three, bam. You're gonna be Rayman. Okay. Um, that's just a potion, so I'm not even gonna bother. Alder's checking me out. Now, someone here. Is it in this house? Someone here gives us a an iron ball. Not here. No, this guy just gives me a potion. Never mind. Uh, I know this guy gives me an item. Thank you, you're gonna be Tsushima. The iron ball was actually in Aspersia. Still raining though. Let's check if the guys in this center give us anything. Okay. Nothing. Good. Any TMs? Probably not. Nothing here. And nothing. Good. I know you give me nothing. Okay, first fight. So let's get some orange berries in our team, and I should have updated this. The Centret might be a sack I'm willing to take. Now, let's not forget that Yon does not work on the freaking Lollipop this time. Please. Everybody up to level 9. Actually, you can be at 8. Follow me. Okay, this makes him... Yeah, this is not useful to you. Unless I want to sack you in the double battle, but by the time I get there, I have better options, probably. He wants to, he wants to learn Yawn, and he takes it. Good. Alright, that's all we needed. Good. In the rain, it's gonna be a little bit of hell if we don't catch a flying type to handle the rival. Uh, let's see. This is immediate water gun on this one. Two water guns and we kill him. Good. Zigzagoon. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're done here. Thank you for the level 9. Next up is the Lassie. 
Less usable. Water gun here. Growls, doesn't even matter. Uh, God damn. Here, I think it's gonna be Rayman for the quick attacks. Hmm. Leech seeds, sure. In the rain, we're not gonna get a lot off of our nice crit. We're not gonna get a lot off of, off of fire moves, so. Deals pretty good damage, actually. Not bad. Stab moves. Oh, sorry about that, guys. How about... Oh, Alright, took care of it. Let's check their natures. This thing boosts attack, less special attack. We may have just gotten the perfect nature. Adamant nature. Alright. This one is boosted attack and less special defense. Quick feet boosts speed if there's a status problem. Okay. And this one is more special defense, less special attack, which, well, it will just encourage us to pick up attack moves like Fire Punch. All in all, pretty good, actually. Wow. Uh, sure, I'll boost you guys up. I'll boost you, and there you go. Okay. Uh, new capture time. This is just a paralyzed heal, right? Yeah, that's all this. A pidov. Um, I'll do a tackle. Fury cutter, I guess. Fury cutter. It's it's just safer. Okay, decreasing my accuracy sucks. Alright, let's try and do a third one. Perfect. If that was a crit, we would have lost the capture, but that's okay. Got a flying type that prefers special attack moves normally. We got the tiny pigeon. Alright, you are gonna be Fire Emblem. In honor of the direct we had today. The Nintendo Direct. Alright, that's all we needed. Let's bring you up to speed as well. Level 7, whoops. There we go. Wants to learn hypnosis, Oh. Honestly, given our options, I won't even take it. No, it's just not. Hypnosis is just way too risky. You can't capitalize on a 60 accuracy move. It's just too much. Okay, where's my berry? This trainer we're about to face, I've already forgotten him, is youngster... Wait. No, it's not youngster Kenny. It is youngster Petey. Opens up with a bird. Alright. If he opens up with a bird, I guess I don't mind going Rayman first. Eh, might as well just bring my ace. Let's go! So this is immediate water gun, boosted by the rain. Not enough, our nature... Our nature doesn't work for, for water gun this time. But we do get aqua jet instead, and I will take that over water gun immediately. Here comes the lily pup! Nice. Boosted nature. Stab. Rain up. Ah, oh, we got it. Give me a Pokeball. Not like I need them, but, you know. New encounter. Let's get our sleep type. Sleep type. <laughs> 
our sleep user. Let's get him going. Machop or Riolu, yes. That is what I'm talking about. So this is immediately Yawn. Okay, we have a fighter. Please be good. Incinerate in the rain does absolutely nothing. He's not 100% health, he's asleep. Just go for it. Damn it. Alright, gotta damage him a little bit more, I guess. Woke up, counter, but failed. Okay, go yawn. It's just using follow me. He went copycat to incinerate. Well, it does burn my berry. And I'll try and get him now. Damn, not even close. Try another. There we go. We got Riolu. I'm gonna call you Punch-Out. Now, the last Riolu we had was god-awful. I mean god-awful. So let's see if this one's better. Uh, yeah, Punch-Out, just like that. Yep. Bag. Give orange berries to everybody. Good. And let's not forget to heal everybody because we're about to face a fight where we should all be level 10s. Oh yeah. Rare candies. Fire spin. Nope. No thank you. Rayman wants to learn charm. That's, that's actually great. Okay, Charm is really, really good. Swift, nice. I'll take that over the Leer, actually. Yeah, because this thing's more of a special attacker by default. And you, I think you learned something like Vacuum Wave? Yeah, you learned Vacuum Wave. All right, you have Kara, you have Follow Me. I'll take out the Follow Me. Copycat could be useful. With Copycat we could steal the workups. Huh. I think we have a different strat for this upcoming gym. Okay, so first rival battle. Again. <laughs> Opening up with the Talo. Um just confirming that I'm not in the rare candy section. Let's check out these new mons as well. This is unaware. Ignores any stat changes in the Pokemon. So you cannot intimidate this one. And it's uh, docile nature, so it's neutral. Riolu. More attack, less defense. Steadfast. Every time you, I try... Every time I get flinched. Has pretty good attack. 22 already? Unfortunately, just like last time, it's not gonna help us, because we need, we only have special attack in our arsenal. Okay, how do we lead against the Talo? I'm gonna go center it on this one. Yeah, I'll lead in with center it, because it actually packs quite the punch. Let's go, Dryano! So this Taylor might go Focus Energy, might go Growl. Quick Attack is over half. Pack was a crit. We got this. Next up is Snivy. Which means we need to go Tsushima here to burn this thing. He went Leer. Okay, that's, that is pretty bad. Hmm. Vine Whip, Rop, and Twister. We could benefit from a Tickle just to equalize things. 
Yeah. He has contrary. I forgot about it. Okay. We have to escape now. Bringing in Fire Emblem, I guess could be the play for Gust. I mean, it's better than having Tsushima in. He went Leer, okay. He's faster than this Pidov. Nice, Twister special attack. For all his Leer and attack increases, he didn't benefit. Pampoor, we have to face him with God of War directly. Less attack, less defense. Hmm. I'm guessing the safer play here. Oh, I think it's still fine. Even how much does an Aqua Jet do? Not enough. Didn't get the para though. Water gun does nothing. Fury cutter. It's gonna be fury cutter. Again. Alright, we can take it. Even with all the defense drops that this guy's been doing on us. Nice. Good. Whew. Sloppy, but we do it. Alright. Now give me the second, the sixth, actually. The sixth mon that we're gonna get in this team. Thank you for the healing. We have a Riolu, but to capitalize on him, we're gonna have to steal some... Uh, we're gonna have to steal a little bit of workups. Might be the only play, actually. What's in the egg? What's in the egg? Come on. Should be close to opening up now. Yep, there it is. Oh! We got a Blitzel. Huh. That's neat. I'm gonna call him Mario Kart. Okay. I can't believe we have an electric type. I mean, I think it's the first time we actually see an electric type. I could be wrong, though. No, we got the Voltorb. Yeah, we got the Voltorb before. Now I remember. Okay, what can you learn, buddy? Charge. Alright. Shockwave. I'm not gonna teach you Sand Attack. Me first, really? Tries to cut ahead of the target to steal and use the target's intended move with greater power. I will take this one. Me first could be very good. Let's see, what else can we do? First of all, he needs a berry. And we need to check nature and ability? Because if this is lightning rod, it could be good. Motor drive could be good. It's motor drive. If you're hit by an electric type, raises speed. Less speed, more attack. It's not perfect. It's brave nature. Less speed, more attack is actually pretty bad on Blitzel. But it does learn flame charge. There's no item here, right, I keep thinking if there is... Let's get a max repel going. Good, got the quick claw.
the janitor opens up with a Bidoof. So I'm gonna give a test ride to Riolu here. AKA Punch Out. He's gonna vacuum wave the competition. Alright, and. Does about half. But this thing did have a fairy type move. Not even enough, goddamn. Alright. Houndor. With the Intimidate. Yeah, we're running. Bring my God of War here. Yep, he howls turn one. This is an Aqua Jet. Perfect. And the Slack Off. This is swapping out two. Should I try Mario Kart here or... I guess I'll go for Rayman. He does have some power. So this is just quick attacks. Goes for the scratch. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay, only one more battle left before we unlock the school. And we need full restores here. Okay, the next one... After the janitor, right? He's gonna use a Psyduck, Puchiana and Ponita. So now we actually have an answer for this. We didn't get grass, but we did get an electric type. So let's get Blitzel going. We need to remember the cell battery item in the gym. They have protection against electricity. This is immediate shockwave. Oh wow, get hit with a water gun. Puchiena. This I'm gonna swap out, because it could be a dark type move. Get punch out in. It's Howl. Okay. Puchiena can do mud slap, can do bite, but we resist the bite because we're fighting type. Howls again. Good. That's an easy kill. Next up is Ponita. Uh, this could be Ember, could be Tail Whip. God of War, you're up. Shouldn't be Ember, actually, because it's raining. Yep. Done. Alright. I don't know why I always pick up the binding band. <laughs> Yarp. Alright. So we're done here. We got the infestation, which is also a a rap type of move. Thank you for the frustration. Team Plasma! Uh. God damn! And we're back. Good. By the way, do they give me anything now that this is settled? Nope. No, they do not. Alright. Alder. Thank you very much. What a shame that Darumaka needs a rage candy bar. <laughs> what a shame. Okay. Everybody should be at level 11 for this upcoming fight. Right? Right. Everybody's holding a berry, we're chilling, good. Right. 
Now, since we picked Oshawott, the first guys are gonna be fire and then it's gonna be grass. Okay. Fire, then grass. So, hmm. I guess I'm opening up with Rayman first so I can deal a little bit of damage. I don't want to overly rely on God of War. Let's go. Alright. First up is Panseer with Tickle. That does nothing. And Incinerate does half. Alright, change of plans. God of War, you're up. Now you go for the yawn. Are you actually kidding me? Bruh. I'll take that incinerate. And we yawn here. Okay, I will tickle you as well. You yawn me, but that won't work. Because now I think I'm gonna put... Hmm... Mud Slap Fire Emblem. Yeah. Swift might be stronger though. Because it's a stab move. Still fast asleep. Good. We get the kill. T Pig has a has a poison move, right? Yeah. Let's see what Mudslap does then. Decent. Okay, that's decent. Two hits. Gets one burn in. Swift. Perfect. Then there is the Torchic, Ember and Send Attack. Alright, I'll take that drop. Let's swap to... Mario Kart here, I guess. Yep, you Send Attack. But it's okay because we have Shockwave, which cannot miss. And Growl does absolutely nothing because Shockwave is special attack. Perfect. Fire Emblem wants to learn Air Cutter and he should absolutely take it. Plus 20 base power. Alright, second fight. Pan Sage. Pan Sage leads up with... This thing has Magical Leaf, right. I guess I'll swap immediately to my Tsushima. Because this is Magical Leaf incoming. He went Growth, okay. That's scary. Alright, chose to go Tickle, that's perfect for me. Less attack, less defense. Then out comes the Snivy. I'll still incinerate this one. Perfect. And then comes out the Trico. Who does have quick attack. And now I should swap to... Fire Emblem. Yep. Because now I can Air Cutter. Awesome. And you want to learn Disarming Voice. Which you can take... Yep, sure. We're not gonna use Lick on the gym. On a normal type gym. Okay, made it back to the gym again. Now, can we please remember... Can we please remember, for the love of God, that Yawn does not work on the Lillipop? The strat here is that we're gonna need Riolu to do workups. I'd say at least one. Hmm. That might have to be the play, really. Just get two workups, I guess. 
if I could capitalize on every single first on every single Pokemon trying two workups, that would be ideal. Okay, we heal up here. I don't remember who gives us the Iron Ball. Actually. It's not you, right? No, it's not here. Let's see. I mean, I know, I know someone gives us an iron ball. Is it the, here? Nope. Already forgot where, where we get it. I mean, it's not important for this fight. Oh wait, I remember. It's inside the school. Yep, it's this guy. Yep, thank you. Okay. So, first one is the hustle guy, right? Nobody uses workup except the actual gym leader, I assume. Yep, that is correct. So, let's get everybody the berries that they need. So this is just orange berry. Right. And against the Rattata, this is punch out in the lead. Go! Hoo wee Okay. This thing can copycat, but there's no point against this guy. It's quick attack, bite, screech, focus energy. I'll just vacuum wave. It does do half, but we'll need to swap out pretty soon. I got greedy. An Aqua Jet is not enough to kill this thing? Really? I shouldn't have stayed in. This thing is gonna do fake tears, so I think I'll use this turn for Tail Whip. He didn't? Wow. He's already doing massive damage, actually. Don't think Aqua Jet will do that much. Well, it does shut him up, so... Okay, Centroid sees a kill with anything, so... Hmm. Let's see, how much does Incinerate do again? Losing Riolu is a massive blow. And again, because I got impatient, I should have swapped out when, I, when he did that... When he did that freaking... <sighs> when he did the... Fr when he did the freaking screech. I should have... I should have swapped out. I keep on getting impatient. And it's, that, that just won't work. That's not gonna work. <sighs> Gotta calm down. One shot at freaking hell. Wasn't even a crit. The next guy opens up with the Pidov, which means God of War needs to go up first. Everybody should be at level 12 at this stage. Hmm. 
I keep trying to get back to the third gym so freaking much that I'm actually losing much faster than that. I need to calm down. I mean, we have time. This week is gonna be focused entirely on this. I shouldn't be so impatient. Okay. We know how to handle the pit of. Right? Right. So, God of War, this is a razor shell. Good. And one aqua jet. Nice. Next up, Teddy Ursa is gonna lead in with Headbutt. So, this is Tsushima, who needs to yawn. Alright, he didn't crit. If he crit, I would have immediately reset. And now, who has the highest defense? 15, 20, okay, 20 is pretty good. I guess we take Pidov here. Good. So now the question is, how the hell am I gonna handle you? I guess the safer play is to go for God of War, right? I'd rather not though. Swift. He doesn't wake up. Excellent. Still fast asleep. Great. Very, very good. Eevee here probably sees a kill. So this is gonna have to be Rayman. To do a charm, I think. Tackle and quick attack. That will make sure that he does swift though. Hmm. Let's swap out and see how much he does. He uses tickle. It's not tackle, it's tickle. This is an actual mistake. God damn it. So between quick attack and swift, I'll use charm here. That's a massive amount of damage. And now that it's down, the safer play... This thing has 16 special defense, and God of War has 19. Needs 146 to level up. I don't know if he does... Let's go with Mario Kart here. He went Tickle. Alright. Shockwave does absolutely nothing. He keeps on decreasing my defense. Can't afford that. Pretty good. And now we go Aqua Jet. And now that it's shared with other mons, yeah, we won't get the XP that's needed to overlevel. Okay, that's one death already. Everybody needs to be at 13. I can't believe this. You serious? You learned Flame Charge at 14. Can't believe I forgot that too. Spark is excellent for you. Yeah. I will take that over me first actually. Wait, why did I do that? I think we want me first, actually. Just, damn. I am not in my element. I am not in my element today, guys. Hmm. Okay, I need to reduce the level. That was accidental, that was my own rare candy too. And let's see, let's see, let's see... We've got a level 14... Wait, aren't you 14? Who did I... Who did I over level? Wait, what? 
Wait, didn't I... Didn't I overlevel him on? I did. Tsushima is 14. What the heck? I guess I opened something else. The hell? Wait, seriously? Wait, didn't we save? What's going on here? You're not gonna believe this, guys, but when I open this thing in PK Hex, I see that he's level 12. What? Oh well, I guess it is what it is then. Um, hmm. For some reason, he doesn't show up with the right. Huh. It's just curious, I guess. Uh huh. Okay, interesting. Alright, good. So I will set this and export. That was really weird. No, he is still 14. What's going on here? What? Something is going on. Something is clearly going on here, guys. Just give me a second. I don't understand what's going on here. This is unbelievable. I can make changes to anything except this thing? Yawn, round, tickle and incinerate at level 13. This is exactly right. Very, very strange, guys. Some ghosts in the machine here. I swear I cannot explain this. But he doesn't have flame charge, so you can see that he was supposed to be level 13. Hmm... Okay, you know what we're gonna do, guys? I think we're gonna reset the run. Losing Riolu is pretty heavy, and with this Pokemon out of the picture, we only have four options. So I guess we're gonna have to go with the 11th run. But I think, uh, I think we're gonna start fresh tomorrow. Yeah, today's a little bit disappointing. Today's a little bit disappointing, but hey, I guess it is what it is. I'm gonna start tomorrow fresh. We start fresh tomorrow, paying more attention, being more calm, and we'll, uh, we'll get what we want. Alright, guys, sorry we couldn't progress at all today. I guess these things happen sometimes. Hope you weren't too bored. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream somewhat. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm gonna be live at 11.30, like always. And we're gonna do New Game Plus and Soul Hackers 2, where I'm just gonna speed through the story so we can get to the bottom, get to the bottom line, which is exploring the fifth floors. So, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!